Hello everyone, I am the Inner Brony, and I will be reading The Worstest Story Ever Told By Mr. Bob Okay, so once upon a time, Rimmo Dash was all like sad because she wasn't a Wonder Bolt and she wanted babies and lots of them, but she, when she tried to get close to a stallion, he would be all like, I don't like you because you aren't a Wonderbolt. So she spent a long time crying because she wasn't a Wonder Nolt, and it, it was sad. Then her friend Twilight was like, you should just try to be happy with how you are. And Dash was all like, but I don't like not being a Wonderbolt and having babies. I am sad. So one day Twilight used her alicorn powers and said to the Wonderbolt Captain Lady, you should let Dash be on the Wonderbolts. And the lady was like, no. And then Twilight says, why? And then she is all, because Dash needs to learn how to fly and stuff. And then Dash said, but I know the Buccaneer Blues. And she's like, but did we see it? And Dash is like, no. And then Soren said, pics or it didn't happen. And then Dash was like, we don't even have cameras. And then Soren was like, tough. Dash wasn't on the Wonder Rolls because she didn't even have a camera and stuff. So there she was, crying in a corner, and Pinkie Pie tried to throw her a party, but she was sad and stuff, so Twilight called the princess and says, Yo, princess, my homie needs to be cheered up. And then the princess was all like, Well, I'll send Luna because she always cheers me up. And then Twilight was like, But last time you sent Luna, I got all covered in spiders and stuff. And then the princess was like, Yeah, so? I'm the princess. Too bad. And then Twilight said okay, and then Spike died from sending too many letters. So the party happened, and Twilight is all like, So Dash, how you licked the party? And Dash is like, It's okay, I guess. And then Luna walks in, and she's not wearing any clothes, and they see her butt. And then Luna leaves the party, keeps happening, and the Soren is here, and Dash gets really mad and is like, why you no let me be Wonderbolt? And Soren says, no, that was Spitfire, and Dash goes, but Spitfire not here, if you read a bit higher, it says you were there. And then Soren's all like, but I'm a dude. And then Spitfire says, do I look like a lady? And then I say, no freaking references to that song. And then Spitfire's like, okay, she's... So then Dash says, so I stole a camera for some kid and now I have pictures of me doing the Buccaneer Blaze. So I can I be Wonderful and then Spitfire or whatever her name is, is all like, sure, knock yourself out. And then she says, I'm retiring anyway. And then Dash is like, so can I be the captain? And then Spitfire is like, no. And then Dash is like, but I can be a Wonderful. And then Spitfire says, I already said, yeah, but there is this new guy who's better than you. His pale blue eyes contrast beautifully off of his dark red mane and crimson coat. He looks like he should be pulling one of Helio's chariots because his mane looks like a flame. Being an alicorn, he was made fun of in the school he grew up in and as a result is a bit of an outsider. What is most amazing about him, though, is that he can wield the powers of the elements of harmony, which were taught to him by the princess herself when he was in her class of gifted unicorns. Now he wanders the globe, seeking friends and fighting injustice wherever it lies. So then Dash is like, boring. And she says, so where can I put my gear on? And Spitfire says, over there, and points to her room at Sugar Cube Corner. And Dash had never seen before. And Pinky says, but I live here. And Dash is like, if I went into your room, that would be creepy. And Pinky's like, got me there. So Dash puts on her Wonderbolt gear and becomes a Wonderbolt. And she travels with them. And they wow audiences everywhere. But she is never as good as... Midnight Dazzle, whose Lucius mane and perfect form wowed even the most hardened old mares and even a few stallions. As he made the perfect turn around during the finale, the crowd chanted his name, all thoughts of the other Wonderbolts fading from memory. He was the star, and every pony knew it. He smiled, the sun reflecting off his flawless teeth, and basked in the glory of his newfound fame. But Dash was there too, and she was also pretty okay, and she was a good warm-up act when the crowd just got there, but sometimes they threw peanuts at her and yelled meaning things, but she didn't care because she was a Wonderbolt. 
She had something else, too, because while Midnight Whatever was stealing the story, Soren proposed to her, and she said yes because she loved him. And then he was like, so yeah, we should have babies. And then he said, yeah, but you couldn't perform while you were a prego. And she was like, oh, right. So they decide to wait, and they are all married. And then she says, but I thought the description said I have a baby. And Soren says, that is for the sequel. <laughs> Author's note. I fully expect this story to be rejected. It is so stupid and mindless, it reminds me of a clop. Well, most clop, anyway. Please dislike the story. It might dissuade me from writing such stupidity in the future. Thank you. Liked. <laughs> that was... The worstest story ever told. And the chapter was titled... The most osteomaths chapter on fanfiction.net. That was magical. Goodbye. <laughs>